Hey everybody, welcome on in. Uh, this is Sergeant Source Rex. Thanks for joining us for some oxygen not included. Today I've got something interesting for you. We're going to go for hard mode oxygen not included. So, germ outbreak is outbreak prone disease morale. We're going for draconian hunger. We're going for ravenous and stress, frankly depressing. Now this is the actual difficult sort of part of this game, and, and you know, I have to be honest, I haven't found even turning this to the maximum up and care packages off to be incredibly difficult. Um, I mean, mind you, if you play this game in, um, I guess what the developers intended as the incorrect way, there's uh, pretty easy to kill duplicates and uh, to, to have entire colonies crash on you. Um, however, if you pace yourself and you don't give your duplicates uh, too crazy much to do, um, this is pretty doable in my opinion. So we're going to do a little playthrough on hard mode. Uh, here we go. My opinions, my strategies. Um, now we got to pick an asteroid. Um, I think I also kind of want to go somewhere kind of far away. Um, I think I'm going to go for Vulcania. Um, I feel like this is actually not that difficult, even though chance of survival is marked as slim. Um, there's a couple different things that can be kind of a bit of a problem early on, but if you know how to deal with things, um, most significantly is uh, how to build a vacuum. Uh, then I think you'll be all right. Um, it's not that difficult to build vacuum. Anyway, uh, here we go. Let's find a nice, interesting asteroid that's going to give us some of difficult stuff. Let's go for volcanoes. Eh. Geoactive, frozen core, miscalculated printing pod. Um, sure, frozen core might give us a little bit of a buffer. Um, worst case scenario, I guess we just drill down below the oil biome and uh, we might have uh, some nice chili resorts to find. Uh, we have a nice miscalculated printing pod. This one's always fun. I feel like this is especially fun on Volcanea sometimes because uh, you can end up like right out in space. Um, that's what I had with my little test map before I started this recording. Uh, so here we go. Um, I might pause the video once or twice uh, during character creation uh, because unfortunately it's a little bit difficult sometimes uh, to get the duplicates you want. And if you're going to do hard mode, uh, you kind of want to get the duplicates you want. And you want to be very specific about the duplicates you accept in your base and not just accept any old willy-nilly flatulent narcoleptic anemic duplicate um, in your base to just sit there and breathe oxygen and eat your food and not be very good at their job. So, the first three jobs that I look for is I look for a researcher, I like to have a digger, and I like to actually have a suit wearer, strangely enough, as the first thing I go for. Suit wearing because it gives you a bonus to your athletics, which gives you a bonus to your run speed. Um, this may look like it, he wants to be, they want to be an astronaut, but chances are they're not going to be an astronaut. They're actually going to do all of the dirty jobs in all of my base. Um, they run around because they're super fast, so they go run around and they supply all of the digger builder guy his stuff they supply the researcher with all of their water and dirt for their advanced and basic research um and so yeah so i put this button until i find one that has a quick learner for the researcher because that gives them a total of 10 in research and then i like the digger with uh, mole hands because that gives them 10 in digging and then i like twinkle toes suit wearing because that gives them 10 so 10 in all three um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here until I found the correct number of duplicate the correct duplicates and then I'm gonna start it up again uh, it'll be perfectly seamless just you wait and we're back everybody okay here we are cycle one hard mode Oni we have our researcher Skills, 10 science, no other relevant skills. A little bit about them. 
they uh, are squeamish, so no saving anyone. Good old Brooke. She has doo -doo 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 -doo. ten athletics. Boy, is she speedy. She's super speedy. Okay, um, but that's everything else. She can't cook. Uh, oh no, she can't also. But uh, it's our digger that can't cook. Uh, Queen Walanali. And uh, s excavation 10. So, right, first off, we're going to set some priorities here. Um, building, digging, Queen Walanali. She loves to do that. We're also going to have Dr. Avery want to do that. Um, however, good old Brooke, we do not want her to do that if she's got other things to do. Uh, we want Dr. Avery to be researching above all else. And then beyond that, uh, there's a certain things that I just like to do, which is just turn these off. Turn these off. Turn this off for new duplicates. Um, we can set that to normal. Turn this off for everybody else. And everything else is normal. Um... I like to turn down operating on um, my digger and my researcher. Um, so that means good old Brooke with the 10 in athletics will also be running on the wheel first off uh, when we finally get that up and running. Uh, but the interesting thing about this map is that we have magma right here. It's a little hard to see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and queue up a couple of dig commands. Uh, just to get people working over towards that so you can see that a little bit better. Okay, yeah, we got magma. So the thing about magma is that it's, uh, 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 you know, chilling, a cool 1500 degrees C. So that's a bit of a problem. Um, the bigger problem, though, is that it's managed to heat up this entire thing of abyssalite. You notice that abyssalite right here is really hot, but then it's like actually kind of like cold down. And, like, Abyssalite doesn't really transfer heat normally in the game, so it's normally used to insulate between the two um, different types of biomes to keep the, the temperature isolated. However, it doesn't seem to be doing that. So in our base, one of the very first things we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make an insulating layer. And the best insulator we can possibly do is actually vacuum. And the tricky part is that we're going to have to make this wall really big. And how do we make a vacuum with literally no research done? And this is at 1500 degrees, remember. This is going to become a problem very, very fast. So, however, there are some things we can do. And it it's really not the end of the world. This is definitely a savable map. We can do it. Uh, first off, we're going to definitely want to draw a line on this side so notice that this is still hot so we're going to need to make this either inside a vacuum or ideally make this tile vacuum and so we can make these two tiles be vacuums so we're going to have our outside wall be here so we start by drawing a wall and now we have not enough materials because we haven't really done anything but let's go ahead and we can go ahead and just queue up a three high dig to that wall. Get them working again. And we'll give us some resources so we can start drawing things. Okay, we're also going to want ladders. And I'm going to want a ladder segment there. One there, one there, one there. Do it. Let's go ahead and dig out all of that too. We need to dig out all this and all that. And let's continue on. Okay, so back to the problem at hand in that we need to make a little vacuum over here. But we don't have any pumps. But the interesting thing is that you can build and destroy tiles diagonally in this game in a way that actually will create a vacuum. And that is why I'm telling them to build this big sandstone wall right here. Um, I'm going to have to have them fill this in a little bit because it's actually filled with gas and liquid and that's going to be a problem. Um, but 
one thing we also have to keep in mind is that duplicates are going to want to pee and poop. So we're going to want to give them washrooms. So the thing that we're going to want to do right now is actually take a little bit of a break. So the wall's going to end up right here. So we're going to want a 16 wide room, which gives us there, which means a door here, which means we can start our little stairwell right there. Um, am I going to go for the... I think I am going to try for it. Um, what I'm talking about is the park bonus that you can get with your duplicates. Um, I think eventually I'm going to want to try to turn one of my little stairwells in my main colony into basically um, a, a, what is it, a nature preserve, which gives you plus six. Uh, here we are, yeah, nature preserve morale plus six. So it's going to need at least four wild plants, the park building, no industrial machinery, and the minimum size is going to be, that's going to be easy because it's going to be like my main elevator shaft type thing but i can do that by digging out in the following pattern so this is where the door is going to be i like to leave a little one tile space here and then um let's go ahead and dig like so. um do i want to dig like that or do i want to flip it i think i want to Okay, so this may all be for not if there are no forest biomes in this map. If there are no forest biomes in this map, I can't get the wild plants uh, to be planted by the pips. Um, we'll see. I forget if Falconia has uh, forest biomes in it. I believe it does have a chance to have them. Um, in the meanwhile, we need to prioritize things a little bit differently, and we need to have them continue digging this shaft. Um, or else they're not going to get to the water, and if they don't get to the water, they're going to start peeing everywhere, and that would be bad. Let's go ahead and change the priority on that to seven, and they can just keep doing the rest of that. But they will do that preferentially. <clears throat> now, one of the fascinating things about this game, especially on hard mode, is just how difficult it is to remove stress. You can see that they're already 7% stressed, and it's still cycle one. See, the thing about their stress is that because I have it on the highest difficulty setting, and they're frankly depressing, is that they get minus 20. They get 20% per cycle of stress just from existing on this difficulty setting. Now, high morale is gonna take it down minus 10, and then they also have other things that are gonna take it down. Um, but you're kind of on the clock right from the jump with the stress modifier um, at this difficulty setting. Uh, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, that being said, it's not the end of the world. Like, you can definitely achieve the stress level management that you need very early on in the game. Um, like I said, this is going to tax my resources a little bit, um, mainly because it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to um, accomplish some of the other things that I need in a timely manner and make this vacuum barrier all at the same time. I think that's going to be the most challenging part here, especially with the um, fact that they have uh, very, very high hunger rates um, at the rate of like we're going to be running into a food shortage here pretty much any time now. Um, 
if I am not careful. That being said, it's not like the end of the world here. I think we can still do it. Uh, yeah, that is the pump here, so I want to put my pitcher pump. Uh, let's put it right there. They're not gone, they're just in the bottom of the pit here. Um, we're gonna need to dig this out of the party. I know. As soon as possible. Um, next steps, they're all digging there. They're digging this shaft. We should have an 18 wide room structure here. So this can give us our basic bed research like housing area. I generally like to put my bedrooms uh, to start off with like pretty much just one floor above this main little research area so we can go ahead and prioritize that at like six. Um, and we can put our outhouses. Let's go ahead and put them right here on this floor. Uh, take these out. Uh, which means we can put wash basin here. Now I generally find two wash basins followed by one, two, three, four outhouses. Still leaves room for confinement that I don't have access to. One and two plus guys there. This is this the correct size, right? This is 17. It's too big. Oh no, but the wall's actually gonna be there. So, we're good. Alright. Yeah, so it's still leaves room for two um, uh, compost heaps. But in the meanwhile, we don't actually need to do that, but we do want to dig it out. But we don't need Prioritize this all at uh, seven. And here we go. Um, so I think we're actually doing pretty good. We're sort of well on our way here. Um, there may be a couple of spots. I may want to try to go for some of these buried objects um, and just, just walling them in before I kind of make this vacuum wall. Um, I'm not sure I haven't quite decided. I believe I'm still a bit of a bun of pressure crunch for food. So we're going to actually this as well. And generator. I do actually have some food in the mix. So we're gonna make mug root make that priority seven. Get the muck root out of the bathroom. Before you make the bathroom. Thank you.
Okay, there we go. Um, and I actually haven't even changed the schedules around, but we're like okay for the first night. Um, now that we have one bathroom, uh, so one outhouse actually, and uh, one wash station, that should be enough that they will all use the restroom in due course and be all right and wait their turn and not wet themselves and they all have beds to sleep in and so we have successfully completed the sort of bare minimum task needed which is not bad considering that we have actually built a considerable amount on this wall that we need to get in asap because we are in the process of slowly cooking um, we already have 100 plus degree granite. Um, that granite's pretty much just gone. I don't really think I can really worry about uh, doing some of this stuff uh, in terms of digging out some of these buried objects. It's just getting too hot too quick. Uh, the magma is still, I mean, 1400 degrees C is uh, just incredibly hot and is not going to be good for our duplicates. Uh, meanwhile, that little bit of oxalate's doing its job, keeping our duplicates alive. Uh, they got the nutrient bars that they can eat, and they're doing okay for cycle one. And here we go. On our way to cycle two. Now, one of the things that you have to keep in mind, um, because the I am playing on ultra sort of hard difficulty setting is the stress level is going to be going up pretty steadily until we can get more morale on these duplicates. Once we get high morale, we can sort of counteract that 20% per day bonus or like debuff, I guess you could say, um, with the high morale buff that will eventually give us plus 20 morale and that'll sort of get us flat however like anytime a duplicate like touches water they'll get soggy feet and they'll get like five percent and so eventually these duplicates will like slowly get stressed out just on the way the basic game is set up unless you let them socialize and one of the ways you can let them socialize is you keep them on similar schedules and that when they're in their downtime they will chat and they will see each other and they will get the bonus um, and they will uh, lose some of their stress also while they sleep. So it's it's kind of important not to just space all your duplicates out and like have them never see each other when it's time to eat and various things like that. You want to treat your people like human beings. And lo and behold, if you treat them like human beings, they will act properly like human beings and um, do the things that you need them to do. Um, like, I actually don't want you to do that. I need you to build that tile first. Um, I guess we're going to have to deconstruct that tile as well. That's where you're going to do that. Um, one of the things that they just updated in this game is an addition to making light more meaningful in that in a lit room, the duplicates use machinery at 15% more speed. Um, I haven't really totally confirmed this, however, I'm operating on the principle that that includes the research station. So I'm going to go ahead and destroy this building right now. Um, we don't have any mucker right here in our bathroom, so I think we're pretty safe to do that. Um, I guess debatably I could have waited until I dug that up. Um, that probably would have been smart. However, I think I'll be all right, especially if I can dig it from the bottom there. And uh, yeah, I'll dig down below. Um, so I'll just do that. Um, in the meanwhile, I think we're going to add this extra wasp basin. This is debatably a de redundant wasp basin. However, with them all on these uh, the same schedule, however, I think it's really important because it's going to add a little bit of redundancy. Um, hopefully, with all three of them running to the bathroom at the same time this will give us a little bit of buffer so that um, one person will wash their hands but then the other person will run up and use the next sink in line and then the third person as they run over hopefully if they're all still there chat with them for a minute and get the the recently chatted bonus and then start to wash their hands um that is the sort of one point of failure sometimes if they don't stop to chat if they just run straight for the food um then this can sort of fail however a really easy fix to that is you sort of adjust the schedule a little bit so you keep your duplicates on sort of a buddy system and you keep at least one other friend for them to talk to while they eat their meals or go to the bathroom or whatever um to get a little de-stress that way 
and um, then they'll pretty much be good. Okay, here now we've got this sort of um, confusing or a little bit user-intentive portion of this building process to begin. Um, let me get the temperature overlay here. Yeah, we need to build up like pretty much the whole way. All right, that's annoying. Um, Let's go ahead and mop that up. <laughs> Priority nine. That's not gonna work. Priority eight. Priority eight. Priority seven. Hopefully that'll work. intended. This is what I mean by the like sort of the user report. Uh, oh, yep. See, now they're digging themselves into walls and stuff. If you're not careful, uh, this can go really bad really quick. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel some of these commands right away. Uh, we actually want some of these deconstruct commands to happen there. Uh, and we need another deconstruct command. Let's go ahead on that. Uh, but we're making our way slowly but surely here. Priority 9, priority 8, priority 7, priority 6. And can you handle priority 5 there? Or are you going to somehow manage to mess everything up now? We'll see. I think this should all work fine. Alright, boom, boom, boom. Yep, yep, yep. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh! Yeah! We did it! Ha! Ah, boom! Yay! The duplicates did it. We can do that. And then we're almost ready to go here on our wall build. Um, so some people might consider this a little bit exploity at the same time, you know, I've got this magma right here, so what do you want me to do? Um, this is definitely going to be the most uh, expeditious method here um, that I'm going to be trying here in the next thing. You can see everybody's mouth, see, everybody's clean. We got three dirty washrooms, speaking of which, um, these outhouses, uh, if you don't tell them not to, they will clean every day, every time somebody uses it. If you st stagger your um, schedules, they will literally spray someone in the face with disinfectant while they're still using the restroom and then do it again immediately because uh, they hadn't finished the process of using said restroom and therefore uh, would still actually recontaminate the outhouse. It's uh, a huge waste of duplicate labor. Um, you can just disable that um, and you'll be fine. Because they will wash their hands. Here we go. Um, and here we can begin the process down here of doing our exploity little triangle build method. Um, so we go ahead and build this tile right here. And then we go ahead and destruct that tile right there. Uh, but we need that tile player to do that. Or maybe not. But bada boom, bada bing, we have now created a vacuum there. Now, one of the things about the vac a vacuum is it has a perfect insulator. So, we will slowly build up this wall. And we will slowly demolish this wall as we do so until we have created a zone where we have nice like 22 degree 25 degree sandstone tile there with a vacuum on the other side and not 100 you know 1377 degree c obsidian and then we'll be able to begin the beginning game 
of this game. Speaking of which, um, I really need to get down my research station and my power. And not draw my power wire all wonky. And there we go. As you can see, this is going to be a bit of a labor-intensive process here for a little bit on my end, but it's well worth it, and then we'll be good to go. And as long as I don't mess up here in my ordering of this process, you should be fine. Here we have a new duplicate. Let's see what we get. All right. Uh, gastrophobia, night owl, iron gut, food poisoning is not really a problem if you wash your hands correctly. So iron gut is not really a great thing. Um, we got a guy that can't build. We got an early bird. We got a better digger. So that guy's actually like relevantly like pretty good. However, um, Nisbet is kind of wanting to be a bit of a jack of all trades here. Um, building is a relevant skill set that you kind of can train people in. Um, suit wearing, meh. Um, everybody, we want all of your people to at least get up to, um, being able to use exosuits, and so that is one point. Um, the way the interests work in this game now, so decorating decor is a, a three skill tier, and they'll get one extra point of morale for each tier that you train them in for that. However, after the first tier, your initial tier, say, of decorating, which costs one in and of itself, which still costs one to the person that's interested in it, it just is negated by the plus one that they get from the interested skill bonus. Um, then it's plus two for the next level, and then plus three for the next one. So you only end up ever end up with plus three morale for your interested skill. Now the thing with this particular duplicate, or any duplicate here, like if we had like operating, doctoring, and cooking, for example, for this duplicate, they have a potential here of plus three morale for the operating skill tree, plus three morale for doctoring skill tree and then plus two morale for cooking skill tree because the cooking skill tree only has two tiers um you can sort of see all that in the skills bar here um now all of my basic duplicates here only ever have one interest so they'll only ever get a plus three but plus three is a bit of a misnomer because here even for dr avery here you're seeing in morale need here on the top here, it says morale need versus morale. You can see as I hover over astronomy that that, that shows a plus six. So even still, it's only a plus three because he's going to be interested in one for here, one for here, and one for the astronomy. Um, however, it's still going to cost him three morale, a net of minus three morale to learn astronomy. Um, so the interested skills... You can have people that are sort of easy to train in terms of... Oh, sorry, not the skills tab, the uh, choose blueprint button. Um, see, these people would be easy to train in multiple different things. So Catalina could potentially learn quite a few skills with only needing, um, say, like six morale, which you can get from a great hall. However, um, Nicola here 
has a plus seven excavation. That is actually a meaningful B plus bonus here of plus 175% digging speed plus 35% attack speed. Um, you don't really do a lot of attacking in this game unless they change it. Um, I mean, barring like literally murdering animals for food. Um, which is really sort of unnecessary because they do die of old age and drop the same amount of food and you can get more eggs from them if you ranch. Um, I was really hoping to see someone with a ranching skill. I think I'm probably going to te take Nisbet here because she is interested in decorating and decorating is one of those necessary skills that you want early and you need to train up because like I said you can get a plus six from a great haul but only if you have a decorator with a plus, with a two skill level in decorating, um, which gives you um, artistic design. And that allows you to make a sculpture of quality enough to be, make a mess hall into a great hall. Um, here we have mess hall, plus three morale, great hall, plus six morale. Um, I still have a little bit more research that I need to do. I'm kind of behind on my research in this space, but like I said, I have sort of a more top priority, zero tech tree needed. I need to build an insulated vacuum seal on this particular wall. This is actually the right-hand side of my entire map. This is as far over as I can push the, um, the camera. It will not go over anymore when I hit the D key. Um, so here you are. Um, I think this video is actually going to be pretty long as it is, so I may pause it here. This is the basic idea, though. You can see I'm creating a vacuum. Here I have my manual generator strung up to my research station. Um, both of those are going to be getting the lighting bonus from the research here itself. Um, I may be able to break this down later and put my advanced um, research right there. Um, my supercomputer, and then I'll basically have my researcher get free light bonus, 15% speed, um, on top of being a 10 intelligence person anyway, which is pretty darn smart. Um, yeah. So, but this is the basic idea. Um, the first thing I'm going to research is farming, because I need to get some farms online, and I still have temperature ranges with which to do so. Um, you can see this is already getting pretty dangerously hot for my duplicants. Actually, they're... It's a good thing that I'm kind of losing... You're gonna, I'm going to end up losing a decent amount of resources into this wall, or into the void of this wall that I'm creating. Um, but I feel like it's going to be worth it. Uh, as you can see, this is already 50 degrees. Some of these is already 76. 76 degrees is already hot enough that if I had actually had a duplicate stand on this tile for any length of time, they would begin to scald themselves and get hurt. And I would need to go down here and make a triage cot if I, they were going to heal themselves. And that's just a whole another bit of work. And uh, the duplicate just lies there. They lose all the duplicate time. Uh, so in the meanwhile, like I said, I believe I am going to go for this duplicate here. Uh, Night Owl gives plus three for all nighttime, uh, and she's got building, which is something that they need to do, but the more important one is the decorating. Uh, the plus one's not great, but you don't really need them to decorate super fast. You ideally only want to like make your decor items once or twice, and um, sort of be done with it. So I think, uh, Nisbet, you're welcome to the team, except you're really not going to be called Nisbet. I'm going to hit the randomize button here. Um, we already have... Who do we have for names? We have... Finals, doctors, queens, and good old. I think our good olds are going to be our, like, twinkle toes supplier people. Um, and I think our royalty are going to be all our digger people bigger builder, builder people uh, you're an artist so maybe you want to be like a randomize your name until I get a queen something except you we already have a queen wall and Ollie, so we can't have you be another queen wall and Ollie. that'll just be really confusing um, tiny baby face sure tiny baby face Again, gastrophobia, um, ideally speaking here, we're just going to be growing meal lice um, until we can get some hatch ranches online, and then we will be throwing said hatch eggs into a storage container. 
um, until they crack on their own, and then we'll be sucking those into a conveyor rail and then dumping them uh, into our cool steam vent and making omelets that way. And so we won't ever need a cook until we need more um, morale than we can get from a variety of other way easier sources than cooking complicated food and growing complicated plants and stuff that require crazy resources. But in the meanwhile, uh, we're going to go ahead and get the skill tree and tiny baby face. You're going to learn art fundamentals right away because, like I said, we're going to want her in artistic design as soon as possible uh, to get that bonus to our morale, which will help offset. As you can see, Dr. Avery is already 28% stressed. It's kind of quite a bit here. Um, we're going to need to get that down a lot lower, much quicker. Um, you see high morale is only going minus 10 right now. Uh, once we can get that a little higher, that's going to go up to minus 20. Um, so, oh, and low oxygen. I'm going to need to make some more oxygen, so I'm going to have to add some oxygen diffusers to this little combo. So let's go ahead and do that, and then let's go ahead, and after you can see that I've added an oxygen diffuser here... Um, and we already have his, the bed needed. Oh, I think that'll be pretty much good. And I think I will end the video here. So thank you all for tuning in, and I hope you have enjoyed the very beginning of this series. Thanks. Have a nice night.